It was a beautiful day in the town of Radium Springs. All the cars were happy, everybody was cheerful, everybody was just doing what they gotta do, you know? Except like McQueen. He was mad because he had to deal with this whole project thing in school and he didn't know how to do it. So let's observe how he gonna fix the situation, the problem. Man, I don't understand this nonsense. How would she literally say that she assigned this project when, mind you, I had to take a flight back to New York and I couldn't even do the project while I was there. And now I don't know how to do this dang project. Oh, man, if only if there was somebody to help me out in this time of need. Because this is ridiculous, man. I just don't understand it. Then... As if it was by magic, McQueen's buddy, Toad Mayor, came in and see if he could help his buddy with his problems. Let's see what he says to McQueen now. Hey, my daddy, what's up? What's your problem, man? You, what, you sound like you upset with something. What's going on with you, bro? What's going on with you? Then McQueen said, What's up, Mater? I'm just mad because I have this whole project to do that is due by the night, and I don't know how I am going to do this. I can't fail this class because it was part of my grade. So I wonder what can I do to help me out to do this project. Therefore, his best friend said, Ah, okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. As a matter of fact, I got a good idea for you. How about us cars in the neighborhood help you out and do a demonstration of the project? So then it's like you, it's like you made a, pro a model of the project, but you're using us as help to demonstrate the project. Wouldn't that sound good to you, buddy? This was when McQueen smiled. Really, Mater? Are you going for real help me out with this project? Because I don't want to fail. I really just want to try and make a good impression on this project and stuff. So, it would be wonderful if you and the other cars can help me do this project. Then Mater smiled. Of course, buddy. That's what friends are for, man. That's what friends are for. You know what I'm saying? So, let's hit the road and go through this thing. Then go. And so once that was said, Mayor helped McQueen do this project. And so let's see what did they present for their actual project. In five, four, three, two. Salutations, class. My name is Ramel Waterfield, aka the Melly Mel. And today I did a little something, something different, usual. That is not exactly common for a project. What I did is that I used my cars and my trains from growing up as a child to demonstrate y'all the different parts of the earth and the different layers in a 3D most possible way I could form, despite it being last minute and despite me not being able to do it regularly. But today, I will try and explain what the different layers of the earth are and how I got it in the order I chose. So let's start with the Blue Owl. The Blue Owl, led by Thomas, is the owl where it is the oceanic crust. The oceanic crust is basically the part of the ocean of which, like, like basically it's the ocean part of the world that where all the water comes from. And so I had it in this way to demonstrate the blue part of the earth with the water and stuff like that. And so this is the part of the ocean crust. Next part, being led by Stanley, is the continental crust, where basically it describes all the um, land we on that we live on as humans and stuff. And why I chose it like this is because I decided to leave the green part of the earth for like the and astroneural sphere and things like that. So this is why I had the white group leading a uh, white spirit, especially since that we have some cold parts of the earth that is white that we see. And even though it's, it, this is not exactly accurate, since it's both white and silver, it's not always white in the world, that's why I have a, you know, thing. Cause I just, it's just a common thing, but I just did, so. This is the white part of the earth, the land part. Now the astrosphere, that's how you said it, led by Ramon, 
It's basically the part of the earth that is the upper layer of the earth's mantle. That's below the lithosphere, which is right here. And that is relatively low resistance and plastic flow to conditions that is thought to occur. And for this, I chose green because that is like, you know, the same way I'm saying, like, uh, kind of like land part of the earth, but we starting to go deep into the layers of the earth with the crust and all that stuff. Like, we starting to, like, we starting to like, deep down in the adventure. So this is why I chose green for the Athena spare. Since it's also like the parts of the earth. Like, blue, white, and green is basically saying the land and ocean parts of the earth that we know and stand on. That's my whole point. So now we're about to start going deep into the earth with the Levio spare. Now the Lidio Spur, which is led by Toby, is basically the part of the Earth that is like the solid shell of the planet that is basically connected to the crust right here. And what I did for crust is I have these little pebbles to outline the outside of the Earth to the inside of the Earth. Like how your body is outside your skin, but your, but your inside is like your heart or whatever. So this is why, this is why over here that I had gotten the um, little spirit to be right here close to the, close to the continental crust because, you know, that's where all this stuff is. So now, going beyond that, going back on the crust, we are about to start going into the upper mantle. Now, the upper mantle, led by Rusty, is basically the between decision of really starting to go deep down into the earth and going and going from the earth from the surface of the earth. Like this, this bit, literally the split between two worlds kind of like this like these two parts is literally the split of what's going on in our actual heart of, of our planet. So this is why I had gotten the orange world bunch to do the upper man. Especially since this is the part where the value and all this stuff matters that we live in our planet. So this is the brief summary of Upper Mantle. Now going to the deeper part of Earth is the Lower Mantle. The Lower Mantle, led by Molly, is basically the living layer of the Earth. Like basically going from solid from the Upper Mantle to liquid to lower mantle, like solid liquid gas, like you know, physical science stuff. And so this is where things start to get hot. And this is how we start reaching into the core of the planet. So basically this is the yellow line where things get real. This is the outer core led by Barney Storm. It's basically the part of the earth where we go in into the core now, but not into the main, main core. Like this is basically the liquid fluid layer of the Earth's core that is liquid and stuff like that. Below is mantle. So this is why I have this little red line over here to, to tell us that this is the second to last part before reaching the inner core, which is all together the main core of our planet. We live, breathe, stand, and keep on. Yeah. Top of the gray banana. And then finally, the main one, the inner core. The inner core, well, I'm gonna just say it like this. The inner core is basically like the source material that we needed to basically have this planet. Like if we didn't have a planet to live on with the inner core then we were basically been school because like our human body we have our hearts to help us start running a function up until the last part like our heart is the main part we need to survive besides our brains so the inner core is what we definitely need to survive in order to be live and substantial on this planet for years and years or whatever to come from past present and the future and i chose this strain because this is basically like a golden moment of how we you know live on this planet and stuff so now i'm about to wrap up and before i forget going up from the inner core to the to basically the crust part which is 
which is which is right here. See right here is the convention currents in the mantle. And that is basically the very slow creeping motion of the Earth's solid silicate that caused the convection currents carrying the heat, which is these hot three colors right here, from the interior to the planet's surface, which is right here. So this is what basically let us go from the, from basically our heart, which is the core, to the skin, which is the surface. So this is how the convection currents in the mantle works in basically our human society and in this project i'm showing you with all these cars and trains and things like that and in conclusion this is the end of my layers of earth model project even though this was kind of rushed last minute this is what I, this is the best i could have done to describe the layers of the earth and to try to relate to this project as much as I can. So, until the next future project, I am Ramel Warrington, and that's all for today's project. Have a good day.